please, don't look at me. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Unthinkable. To see my own father named Gortash, the sole ruler of Baldur's Gate. Please, we need to speak with him. Maybe, maybe he can see reason. So, we have a uh, shape changer at our camp. Hm. Good luck finding her. Huh? You could watch out for anyone acting strangely, but, well, you know the lunatics we camp with. <laughs> I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him. Stop him from gaining almighty power. And then really enjoy killing him. <laughs> and if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Gortash is to be believed, and even our camp isn't safe from Orin's influence. You might want to confirm the veracity of his claim, or at least clean up the mess. An imposter in our ranks. If this is true, it could be anyone. You, me, well, not me, I know who I am. Perhaps we shouldn't take Gortash's word for granted. But if he speaks the truth, we need to be careful. Orin could have eyes and ears on us right now. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Keeping very well, I hope? I... was wonderful. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. This was different. It was like I could see my fate in her eyes. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was... Black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed, so hideously warped. He told me we'd be together now. Said 
Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors that plagued my home. He's gone now. But I suppose the man I knew died when I died. The man he became... That wasn't the father I knew. The one I loved so very much. What's on your mind? Ah, oh, I've had a lifetime's fill of watching little men puff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. Of course. He'll share his rule. What use all his brilliance if there is no one to bask in it? But even if we unite to command the brain, <laughs> it's not as if we can leave the city under Bane's boot heel once it's done. We'd be back to the same old battle. Still, <laughs> if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. There might be, but mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. It would be irritatingly true to form, would it not? Mm. A harper learns to doubt, to peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? Our camp houses an imposter then. Say nothing. Trust no one. Not even me. A shapeshifter infiltrating our number. Like a cuckoo creeping into the nest. Hmm. A dire threat. If Gortash indeed spoke the truth. I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. It is the smell that strikes you first. Spiced ceremonial oils cut through with the copper tang of blood. In the candlelight, Zevlor might almost be sleeping, but his empty eyes stare, his lips slack around a curl of parchment, poking through like a yellow tongue. A message.
The corpse stares at you lifelessly. Blessed by the chosen. Her voice absolute promised. Moonrise granted audience. The others. What happened to others? To be paladin again. Protect my people. No, we are sainted, safe, home. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. My engine. It hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. But look, we've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so called gods. Bit sweaty, but up for whatever's next. Ugh. Thanks, soldier. Can't wait to be home. Anything that comes after that is extra. I brought my own pairing. Absolute army won't stand a chance. Gortash will crush him like roaches under his boot. Our part of the fabric of the city, in their way, they keep ruler as well as the fist. Thank the living gods, Gortash is here to protect us. Finally, a leader worthy of this city. Good day to you. I may speak only to my lord. Terribly sorry. Quiet. Such a heavy hand. The people demand it. Visible Dorian. Truest of souls. Bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his. Then falls quiet. Have you come to behold the new dawn? What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tears abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that, true soul, is the greatest of goods. And if the Steel Watch can't protect us, what then? The Flaming Fist stand ready. An Archduke! 
Finally, someone who can stand up to those wretched absolutists. Ravenguard has not once failed this city. If he trusts Gortash, then so do I. Archduke Gortash, man of the people. The right people. A new age is upon us. Flaming Fist Barracks. Authorized personnel only. What? Oh, uh, what are you... What are you doing in here? You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll... I'll wake the others! be necessary I I just needed gold that's all I'm getting out of here taking a ferry down the coast to get me home those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple though danger money it's a joke you haven't heard an army is coming. They're saying it's unstoppable. My wife said we have to stand and fight and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want is to go home. isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Poor thing. He's had a tough go. And you don't know the half of it. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one. The way I hear it. Raven guards good as dead. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? I know enough. Let's talk to Will in your camp. Work something out. The Duke's life depends on it. Tadpole quivers, revealing your discussion with Mazora to Will. Shit. Father's been taken, and Mazora started to scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? I couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. We'll have answers soon enough. 
Let's talk to Mazora. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. I've got my hands full enough without gawkers. My herd are dairy goats. I bet they're going to slaughter them, the poor things. Good to bottle things up. Come to have a go. Give it your best shot. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Gold first. Then you can hit me. Plenty. Lots of angry people in this city. No one else to take it out on. Go on. You seem like you've something pent up. So, you having a go or not? I don't mind, so long as you're paying. Charge too much, people at you harder. Then they take the gold back. Besides, I've taken enough punches for free. At least this way, I get paid something. So, you having a go or not? It's happening already. Oh, calm down, would you? It's all in your head. I've a good mind to get the flame in fit. Listen and submit to the mistress of disease. is the least I can do with the absolute almost upon us. This one's got a heart of gold. I don't know what we'd do without him. The cellars are just down the stairs. There, yeah. you'll find my old yeah. lodgings. A miracle's on Oh, 
Look, Tambourine, a servant comes to help us. Mm, kill those rats, would you? When they're dead, the other servants will feed us. The Sturge Pixie, I guess. Welcome, Traveller. Remember, this ain't the Blushing Mermaid. It's the Elf Song. So behave yourself. That's right. And a lonely job it is, too. When you're the muscle, no one thinks about your heart. Very funny. Go on inside. We're looking for comedians. Rovia burned the bullier base again. And now I have to scrub the pot. Some chef he is. <laughs> Just lying around, you furry chunkers. Damn rats. Oi, you! I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. Speak to the filthy vermin who are ruining my stock? I think not. Oh, go on. Nothing better to practice your skills on than a few rats. Well, well, look what the bugbear dragged in. Can't believe we both made it to the city and with our limbs attached. Working. What else? Alan's short on coppers. The counting house is screwing him over. He was willing to hire anyone who'd work for cheap. And I'm nothing if not cheap. Check the roof. But you didn't hear that from me. You too, good looking. Now get out of here. Can't be acting all soppy in front of the customers. Heading to the roof. Saw your own drinks in the meantime. Table 14 want their eggs now. See Alan at the bar for drinks. I'm busier than a two-pecker goat. Smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, a comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You wanna play along? It's all about the boffo yoks. We see you can tell the funniest stories, and the winner gets the prize. Great! I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Baldarians! You know. I wouldn't be here tonight, except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. I got fiend zoned. <laughs> we used to have a drow comedian. I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her how many drow it takes to light a torch, and she said, none. We have dark vision. <laughs> so I killed her. The Elf Song patrons think that one's funny. There may be hope for you yet. Your turn, smart stuff. Knock them dead. But not literally. Got me? <laughs> Got me with an ancient jest that's older than I am. Didn't I tell this joke already? Ah, uh, don't 
joke about religion. Smart stuff. A single person applauds from the back of the room. Probably out of pity. Sorry, smart stuff. No joy for you, I'm afraid. But that sounds like job security for me. Another triumph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dice of Timora. What an embarrassment. The old elves are. You're a big disappointment. You know that. Hold up, citizen. This is a crime scene. No admittance. Devella's finished her report. We can let them pass. Stumbling's parlor. A place to receive I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. I wonder if it's as I remember it. those idiots not to let anyone through you name rank and reason for interrupting an active crime scene for your sake the last one better be bloody good to fetch her another bottle of mead no doubt yes I'm Devella the unfortunate colleague unless you've got useful information leave me to my work Duke Stalmain's dead and I've got to find who killed her God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. <laughs> but cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. I've not ruled out the possibility that it is Saravok himself. The brutality of the killings is certainly reminiscent of his work. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Room couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you'll be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work.
Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarch, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Lots of blood. Some pink stains, too. Bloody's ring. Guess the killer didn't want jewelry. And are you? Never thought I'd live to perform for the greatest audience in the realms. The entirety of Baldur's Gate. Lacarissa lets me practice up here when she's on shift downstairs. She's too good to me. But you? I have a bone to pick with you, oh brave adventurer. Big trouble. The most trouble you've ever been in. I've decided I'm not going to perform in the Elf Song. Mainly because only the Elf Song itself is allowed to perform. I'm going to open up a school of bards. The best in the realms. To usher in a new age of magic and musicianship. And it's because of you that I dare to dream big enough. Thank you. That means a lot. I wanted to tell you first because, well, you inspired me to do it. Here. My very first loot. Tuned to perfection. Thought you'd appreciate it when I'm rich and famous. Take care, my friend. Thank you for helping a stumbling bard in a druid's grove find her spark again. are available to rent. If you can find one spare, that is. With all this talk of war, what else are folk to do but drink? I reckon the murder would add something to do with it, too. Got punters all intrigued. On that morbid note, what can I get your fine self? <sighs> Going to make this place famous, I reckon. Victim is a bloody duke. The Lynn Stelman. Well, she was a duke. 
Now she's just bloody. I reckon I'll be able to charge double for that room once the constable's done with it. Murders and ghosts are always grand for business. At least, I hope. It's been slim picking since the absolute butchered that supply convoy. But have a look. Fill your boots, mate. I'm concerned, Lord Gortash gets the benefit of the doubt. Until he does something obviously wrong, he's got my support. We can't afford to be squabbling with the absolute crawling up our asses. You talk about the honor of your order, but what about my honor? I made a deal. Stog, if you want to join the Vigilant Knights, you have to quit beating people up. My sister Gerva has talked me into joining her holy helm order, but I got a job to finish first. Breaking the knees of debtors for the guild isn't honest work, and you know it. That's why you're giving it up. But I already took the money for it from Uktar, so I gotta follow through. It's like an oath or something. And I know you understand oaths, Gerva. What am I going to tell the Vigilant Knights, Doug? That you're knee-breaking for goodness? You know that's right, Stug. If Uktar sends someone after you, I'll back you up. And so will the rest of the knights. You say that now, but you haven't met Uktar's enforcer, Elliot. No, you're right. I'm sick of the whole business. If Elliot comes looking for me, we'll find a way to deal with him. Still here, strength. Just one more, Stug, and then we'll... fresh vegetables <laughs> damn the absolute chef revere still hears squeaking why do you not kill rats rats too tough no i need them rats taken care of here's the deal i'll keep a lookout for murderers you murder the rats Today. Don't customers know there's a war on?
is a hidden door that leads further in. The mechanism to open it is somewhere among the wine racks. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Never wanted the easy path. Side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. has been activated. There must be... Get the Yankee. Blackie has found us. Get rid of them, quickly! We will be ready. In the meantime, tear every brick out if you have to. If it doesn't come, we must find evidence of its whereabouts. What a pleasant surprise. Here you are, as brazen as described. The gloomed soul who thieved from our queen. Of course you had help, didn't you? From the elithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Tell me, what did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Your story ends here. We will reclaim the Astral Prism, purge it of the Illithid Interloper, and restore it to our Queen. What are you doing? My dear child, I already know all there is to know. I will liberate you from your puppet master, Chamarzala Vlakith! Jimmy on the go.
Turn someone inside out.
the room. There's a statue that conceals the way through. I'll reveal it to you. That helped. Very well. Here we go. Hey, good looking. For me. All's well that ends yeah, not as bad as it could have. Might be useful.
is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something in me still. The chains I use to bind my means. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. An old container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me now. I wonder what the next move is. That's curious. Still breathing, despite everything. Recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal. When I have need of meals like that. How much farther can I go? Give it a shot. Scrawl! It's not safe here. It's too late for me, but not for you. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Orin happened. She seized me from our camp. Bore me here to Baal's enclave. She... She slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. You'd scuttle away so easily. To think I saw courage in you. Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you. And your little pet. Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. Kethrick's killer. Turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. A desiccated husk, all dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> Against the tyrant's throat, of course. <laughs> when you heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. 
Take the Netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is Baal's. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Oren's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Allies? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We had a balance. The Chosen Three. <laughs> but it tumbled when you turned the Bone Lord to ash. Now, Gortash tries to gouge me from the city. That festering inadequate thinks me a flesher, butchering and cleaving only to whip the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill him. Gore him like a pig prepped for the spit. Only then will you be sweet and sharp, ready for the murder lord's purpose. Need? No, 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 I do not need. You are made of nothing. Meaningless flesh and bone. I do not need. I offer. Ball's age approaches, and you could be there to see it. An idol of flesh, made to welcome his bleeding dog. There is time for you yet. Time to save. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. <laughs>
your death in the Dreadlord's name. Making me sweat.
time to dally. No time for dally. <laughs> have seen everything. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. Fina, Cirrus, arbiters for the hells, exemplars of justice. Your parasite links with wills, and your memories flow into him. He sees his father's flight from Worm's Rock, and hears Mizora's words to you. Shit. Where did Gortash send my father? How do I save him? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. No contract is ended without sacrifice. A cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard. A choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. You damned wretch! Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you. 
you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> What's on your mind? Gods, I spent seven years choked by Mazura's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. It's a tantalizing prospect. How better to protect the frontiers than as a Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate? What evils could I vanquish with the flaming fist at my command? Presuming, of course, the people can stomach the sight of these God's damned horns. The leash has been broken and my father left for dead. Tomorrow I celebrate my gain. But today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. The Raven Guard name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds and the city from the brain. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Impossible. My bargain was uncommonly reasonable. A single soul for the return of Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke. A real bargain, I should think. I never thought the legendary Blade of Frontiers would surrender his father for freedom. Not very valorous, if you ask me. But what does a mean old devil like me know about heroes? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. Just because he's not my pet doesn't mean he's not useful. The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus, my mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself. 
if I deem you worthy. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup should you wish to experience it for yourself. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure, the garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stelmay, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. You wouldn't have even come this far without me. So, as I see it, you don't have a choice. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flayer. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. Consider that you were just a problem to be solved. And not an easy one at that. But I persisted. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company. like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. I'm sorry. You're right. Now's not the time. Forget I said anything. Let's move on to more important things. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves.